I've always sucked at physics until I cracked the code. These eight tips help me jump from frustration to 100%. Stick around till the end. I've saved a super unique hack that you won't find anywhere else. So grab your notepad, get a drink, and let's dive right into it. Number one, master timed mock tests. Practice how you play. Simulate exam day with timed mock tests. You can start with a full 60 minutes to tackle a mock test. You can ask your teachers or like find a mock test online. As you improve, try to cut down the time so that your time is less and less and less. Think about it. If you can ace a mock test in just like 30 minutes, think about how much confidence you're gonna have on the day of the test when you have two times the amount of time. Number two, guess before you solve. So before touching your calculator, try to take a moment to think what should the answer be? It might catch some like random mistakes you might make. For example, a height of a building can't be like negative 30 meters. Number three, diagrams and information. This one is actually a game changer because I used to do this in like grade nine and I was like, oh, well, I'm not, I don't need to do this when I'm in grade 12 or something. Wrong. This is actually such a good tip. So basically physics is very visual, right? So when you're working on a problem, you want to like draw diagrams and stuff. Even if it might feel like a little time waster, maybe you're going to visualize it better. Maybe you'll understand something that you didn't even realize about the question, especially if you're dealing with like speed or force. Force is a big one for this. I recommend to you to jot down every single variable you know along with what you need to find. So this is like an example of what I might do. When you see every single variable you have, it's really easy to know which formula to use. Number four, train with formula flashcards. You're gonna take a flashcard on one side, you're gonna write uh, like an example question. On the other side, you're gonna write what type of formula to use. This is gonna help you know what formula to use like as soon as you see the question on the test. Especially when you get into harder physics, there's so, so many different formulas. And then some teachers even make you memorize the formulas. Number five, use interactive websites. I go to French school, so I use Alloprof, but I'm sure there's like English or like other language variants of this type of website. It like teaches you stuff and then at the end of the document, there's like a little quiz. And number six, ask for help at lunch. Sometimes the best thing to do is just literally go up to a teacher and ask them. I should go ask physics and math questions to my teachers during lunch. They often like students who take the initiative so that you can prove that you actually want to get good grades. Remember to be really specific before you go into another class. Like try to know what part of it confuses you. Is it the problem solving? Is it the way the questions are worded? Being specific is just going to help both you and the teacher help you. Number seven, start studying earlier. Seriously. Let's be real, cramming does not work with physics. You need to put blood, sweat, and tears into getting that grade, you know? Um, not actually blood though. Try to break your syllabus into smaller sections. I know this is cliche, but like literally the biggest thing you can do for yourself to get better grades is let's start studying earlier. I know some teachers, they finish teaching the subject like one period before. Even if your teacher does that, just try learning like everything you can before the test, you know? The best feeling ever is when you're studying the day before the test and you just realize you know everything and you have nothing to stress about. So if you wanna feel like that, just start studying like way ahead. Two last things, okay? Number eight, end each studying session on a high note. Always wrap up your study time with a problem that you know you can ace. This might seem kind of strange, but this gives your brain a dopamine hit, reinforcing the idea that like physics isn't impossible. Try to do a question that will actually be on the test though. And last but not least, the reverse problem technique, the hack that you've been waiting for. Do you ever turn over a test and realize like, everything on the test paper isn't what you study for? Or like maybe you know the subject, but maybe the questions are worded really weirdly. You're gonna take a solve problem, cover the question and work backwards from the solution. This forces you to understand why each step works and deepens your grasp of the concept. Let me tell you why it's effective. When you're used to only solving problems one specific way, sometimes teachers give you a question on a test that like you have to work backwards from it. If you're not used to studying for that, then it's gonna be really hard to do that on the test. Which tip are you trying first? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more hacks. We got this, let's ace physics together.